because most doctors are men, who gets 80% of the depression drugs and Valium? Women. Got it. Okay? And that's why a long time ago they used to do a lot more hysterectomies. Why? Did you ever see when you spayed a dog? You calm it down. Okay, so what we get is a sandwich. So that's why you get bladder infections. Why wouldn't you get bladder infections? Because of that waste, you're pooling it all in this area. Uh, painful periods. Okay, why wouldn't you get painful periods? When you have your period, what happens? All the worst toxins that are in your body are mixed in with the blood that is going to come out during the period so that if you get pregnant next month that we have a really well working oven okay so that's so when all these terrible toxins are coming out to be eliminated so that there's a good home for the baby if you're already toxic down here these extra toxins cause oxygen to be eaten up magnesium to be eaten up they cause inflammation which causes spasm so get cleaning, and you wouldn't have to have that. And I know that sounds, but 30 to 60 days, you won't have it. It'll be gone. Painful period's gone, OK? And it doesn't matter what age you are. Um, menopause. Menopause exists. Sure, you go through menopause, but menopausal symptoms, remember something. What's one of the biggest menopausal symptoms? Mini fever. When your kids have a fever, they're burning off an infection. These 40 hot flashes you have during the day, if you didn't have them, you'd have a heart attack because you're burning off the infection. When you go, okay, how do you like this one? When you go through menopause, your period, what does your period do? What does your period do? It slows down or stops. So now, one of the best methods of getting rid of the worst toxins that could cause you to be a sick person, it's no longer there. So now, because you've always been constipated, meaning that you haven't been getting rid of your waste, and you haven't been eating well as you should, you haven't been drinking structured water, right? Now you don't have that. So now you need a blow-off valve. And it's called night sweats, hot flashes, and fevers. That's it. It's as simple as that. But no, we gotta now give them more drugs, right? Do you ever notice something? For every new symptom, there's a new drug. And for a person who continually goes to a doctor, then they, once they go to a regular GP, then after a while they have to go where? Because a specialist has, he's had more training to be able to know how to use even more toxic drugs to take you closer to the edge of death without killing you. Okay, so night sweats, fibroids. We're going to get into this more, but I'll give it to you in a nutshell. So, in your body, when toxins come, okay, almost all women have fibroids today. Carbohydrates, sugar. If you don't gently cleanse every day, drink really good water, eat a whole plant-based diet, you've got fibroids. End of story. And fibroids are the medical system's best money maker. Do you actually think they're going to try to teach anybody in hell not to have them? It's a gold mine. So what happens is, all this waste comes in here. That creates inflammation and pain. Oh, your body goes, oh my gosh, this person doesn't know how to look after themselves. We need to send fibrin down there. So it sends all this fibrin, scar tissue, to wall off the area to protect it from becoming cancerous. Well, we have to create a wall of scar tissue, damn, because this person doesn't know how to take a poop. So the toxins are going to keep coming, so your body's smart. It needs to wall that off. It's trying to protect you. That's what the fibroids are. Because if an area stays inflamed for long enough, bacteria, viruses, and parasites move in. So the body creates that fibrin to keep them walled away, and it prays that you know just please start drinking enough good water. Start eating plant food and please start cleansing your sewer system, right? Because your sewer system becomes a cesspool. 
Do you ever see a cesspool where they put all the pig poop? Well, what do you think that breeds? We become cesspools. Those three people I just showed you up there, they're all cesspools, aren't they? So do they have trouble with their relationships? Are you kidding me? If I was that toxic, I would feel miserable. And if you feel miserable, you don't feel loving, do you? Dr. Wolf here. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. I have many more videos with life-saving strategies, tips and tools for you to watch so that you may learn to master your life. Become part of our Doc of Detox family when you join the Healthy to 100 Club and have the best day of your life.